Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial to create your own custom firmware for the Xiaomi M365. Please note that if you have an M365 Pro, I've done another tutorial. You should use it because a lot of options are different. This tutorial for the Pro is available in the top right hand corner right now. So that's been said, let's get started. So base version of your firmware. Um, there are a lot of options available. The best for me is 1.3.8 because it provides the, mo the smoothness of butter. <laughs> of course, I'm kidding, but it's the best version in my own opinion. But you can test other versions if you want, of course. And for everything I say right now, I'm explaining which settings I use and why, but remember that it's always up to you. Uh, output file. There are, you have the choice between four options. I recommend to use zip files because M365 G and Shell Flasher use both use uh, zip files to work. So zip files better. But if you have a specific need, maybe you want to change this. Version spoofing. If you if you flash your custom firmware with a base version of 1.3.8, for example, um, Xiaomi Mi Home will will always ask to update the scooter because it's not the latest version in terms of official firmware. So this setting, version spoofing, creates a four number of versions, which is called 5.3.8, to remove this quite annoying thing of Mi Home wanting to upgrade. So it's a very nice feature, but the problem is that I've heard that a lot of people are stuck in this 5.3.8 version, they cannot just put another official firmware. So it's not, uh, it's a good idea, but for now it doesn't work very well. So I recommend to disable it. Auto curse means speed. If you don't know what it is, curse is kinetic energy recovery system. Uh, when you brake, the motor uh, will create some energy and will put it back in the battery. So this is very convenient to save energy. Uh, basically, it's at 6 km per hour, and if you drive below the speed, it won't activate. Um, it's up to you. If you want to disable it, you can just uh, put 40 km and it won't work at all. I prefer to use it at 1 km, but it's not perfect for everyone, because if you put it at 1, just if you push your scooter next to you, it will break by itself. So it's not very convenient, you have to turn it off, but I never do this. So I prefer to save as much energy as I can. But for you, maybe six kilometers is the best. Okay. Patch speed controls params. You can patch here the normal max speed. The max available for the Xiaomi M365 is like 31 kilometers per hour. But remember that it's illegal in many countries. Many countries are allowing only 25 kilometers per hour. And eco max speed, in my case, I like to put 21 kilometers, so I know that I'm saving a lot of energy. About normal phase current, normal max battery current for both, um, it's exactly like you see here. To convert the old power constant to milliamps, use in an end divided by constant times 17,000. Um, you can change this, but I don't recommend because it's already very powerful. It's up to you. You can upgrade a bit this um, this number by following this mathematics, but it's up to you. I don't change it in my personal case. Patch break lever params. You can change it. It's up to you. Maybe you can upgrade a little bit these numbers if you want to have a harder breaking, but uh, in my case, I won't change it. But you can upgrade this number a little bit. For example, 9,000 and 35,000, for example, here. More start speed, sorry. This is a very, very nice option here. When you have an official firmware, the, the scooter will start at five kilometers only. It means that you have to really push the scooter and then press the throttle to accelerate. If you put, for example, 0.1 km per hour, the motor will just have to, the, to roll a little bit and then you can put the throttle and accelerate. It's much more convenient than to have to go to five kilometers per hour and then accelerate. But it's up to you. You can put, for example, two kilometers per hour or more if you want to use your scooter in like manual mode. But for me, it will be 0.1 kilometers per hour. Cruise control delay. Very convenient option too. 
in an official firmware it's in at, uh, after 5 seconds after 5 seconds the cruise control turns on I prefer to put 3 seconds but like always for you it's completely free you do whatever you want but 3 seconds is pretty it's not that fast but it's not that slow to turn on it's perfect for me cruise control no beep uh, as the title says uh, it's very easy uh, remove the beep uh, when the cruise control activates it's up to you it's convenient to have a beep to know that the cruise control is activated but it can be a, very, a bit annoying if you use it all the time so it's up to you I prefer to leave it uh, activated the beep I mean but of course it's up to you instant mode switch um, it's easy, it's to switch between normal and eco mode while you are driving. You don't have to be stopped and then change between eco and normal mode. But it's a very bit, it's a bit dangerous because if you are driving, for example, at 30 km per hour and then you double click on the power button and you go into the eco mode, it can break suddenly and you could have an accident. Maybe it's a bit dangerous to use this, but if you know what you're doing, maybe you can enable it. Boot with eco mode, as it says, the scooter will always start in eco mode. Um, it's up to you, I don't have much to say about this. I prefer to drive very fast in my case, so I don't activate this option, but it's up to you. Russian throttle algorithm, it's just a different algorithm of accelerating and power control. Um, I, I would say that you don't have to use it if you're Xiaomi M365 goes as fast as you want. For example, if you put uh, 31 or 30 or 32 kilometers per hour and you go this fast, it's okay, you shouldn't activate this. But if you're stuck at, for example, 26, 27 kilometers, even though you've created this custom firmware and maybe you should activate this test with this option activated, but basically you don't have to use it. Battery voltage limit. It's only if you want to connect a custom battery uh, with a different voltage. So if you don't have a custom battery, you mustn't change this. But if you have one, please check uh, the voltage of the battery and change it right here. It's pretty easy. Remove hard speed limit of 35 km per hour. It's useful also if you don't go as fast as you want. But most M365 users won't go faster than 30 or 31 km per hour. Remove charging mode. Um, if you put an external, if you connect an external battery to the scooter, sometimes there is an issue because uh, the scooter goes into charge mode. If you have an external battery and you have this problem, just check remove charging mode. Stay on with scooter is locked. If you use the Mi Home application, you can lock your device and it will shut down after a few minutes. Uh, if you activate this option, it will never turn off. So, it's up to you if you want to use this or not. Change ESC to BMS, nah, nah, nah. it's only if you have a compatible open source. So, it's a bit complicated. I won't explain this because it's very useless for most people. More power constant. Very, very interesting option here. Um, you only have, when you have an official firmware, the power is like this, 51,575. If you, hunt, if you want to have more power, you can lower this number. In my case, I put 45,000. It's already much more powerful. And if you put 40,000, it's extremely powerful, much more than an official firmware. As you can see, you can go even below that. Some firmware use 25,000, but I would, wouldn't recommend this because it uses a lot more power, so your range will be lower, the lifetime of your battery will be lower too, and the lifetime of your motor will be lower too, because it will produce a lot of heat. So, it's up to you, of course, like always, but 40,000 already is a lot, and if you want to stay at normal power, original power, it's like 51,575. So, like always, it's up to you. Wheel speed multiplier, it's only if you have a bigger or smaller wheel that, than the standard one. You probably don't have to change this, so that's about it for this tutorial. When you've done all this, you just click on patch and it will create and download a file that you can flash through Shell Flasher or M365 DownG. I've created a tutorial to use how to use your custom firmware, how to flash it on your scooter. It's here in the top right hand corner. If you have any question, feel free to ask it 
in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.